and another absolutely stunning part of the country. New Forest. Just had to stop about 12 minutes out from my campsite. Driving down the A31 as you get close to New Forest. Just looks stunning. Um, you can turn off the motorway before that though and, and actually drive a bit further, like actually in the forest a lot more. Um, but awesome, stunning. Got told about these wild horses that are just chilling by the road before leaving and coming here. It's just nuts. There's a load of cows as well. Like, they are beautiful. See you later, buddy. I just arrived um, at Avon Tyrrell. And it's uh, basically, um, um, you're in the forest, with an adventure kind of activity place, like bike riding and archery. Um, it's like a, an assault course kind of thing going on. All kinds of stuff for the physically active. Um, and uh, I picked a, a lakeside spot. Um, and it's, it's really quite beautiful. Just over here, behind me. Um, yeah, stunning. The um, it's just outside a, a little village called Burley. If anyone's interested, Avon too. Get involved. All right then, yeah. So my car there. And that's where I'm going to pitch my tent, obviously. And the lake, right there. Lovely spot. Got the facilities, nice. Like the uh, grass roof, wild grass roof, that's cool. I think I really need to get into canoeing. Well, it's a beautiful start to day two. Sun shining, it's got like a bit of a mildew out. Lovely job, buddy. I'm gonna prep some breakfast yesterday, thought ahead. Still got some coffee in my thermos as well, so I'm just gonna sit, enjoy some breakfast. Um, and I might wait to Bournemouth. Since, yeah, hopefully, if the sun's still like this. Uh, although it's early, I think it's only like seven. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully Bournemouth will be nice. Head to pool, kind of go to the gym there. Um, and then I think it's about three hours to Bodmin, two and a half hours from there. Um, but this is effectively day two, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to do a, a daily video or not yet. Um, see what happens or not when I get to Cornwall, but. Yeah, amazing start so far. Slight change of plan. I'm going to work out right here instead. The other side of the lake's a little bit more secluded. <laughs> Can't turn down this opportunity. What a day to be in the new forest. Definitely picked a good day to go to Bournemouth. That was absolutely stunning. Like, beautiful place. Um, I think I'd go back there again, actually. Um, I, that's definitely something I'm going to notice around doing all my trips. Um, 
But if there's something I just kind of fly into, want to get some pictures and then go, you can tell pretty quickly whether I'd want to go back there, like Blackpool, not bothered. Newcastle, eh, not really bothered. Um, but like Bournemouth, yeah, that seemed cool. Probably just like do a weekend there, um, maybe in the spring, something like that. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, but I'm currently about halfway to, to Bodmin now, or get, not, not probably not quite actually, somewhere in between Yeovil and Exeter on, on the M5. Um, and yeah, it was a little bit longer than I expected because originally I was doing my timing going from pool. Um, and it took ages to even just get to pool. There was so much traffic. Uh, but then you get onto like the A67, and that road's wicked. Like the views there are just amazing again. Um, so yeah, been cool. Um, just stopped, grabbed coffee, have a quick snack, uh, and then uh, onto the M5. Uh, I think that's pretty much all the way down to Bodmin. So um yeah hope and then at that point it should be around about three o'clock ish uh meet up with uncle arthur nice first stop's actually wade bridge um just made it here it's taken way longer than expected um i'm actually going straight into the food bank that um my aunt and uncle uh run so uh gonna meet them there wade bridge is lovely though and the drive here was awesome the a38 beautiful great scene Go, folks! Promised you some beach action. This is Polze. Loads of surfers. Definitely don't fancy hiring a wetsuit. But absolutely beautiful. This is the charity my Auntie Jack set up about 10 years ago. Um, and yeah, they do amazing things, not just in Wadebridge, but around the country. Just finished um, an absolutely incredible week uh, with uh, with some of my family, um, my uncle and aunt, half Jack, half uh, and Jack, um, and, and my cousins were there, and their kids was amazing. Um, I helped out some, some of the food bank to, to do some, some whatever I could, like general labour in there. It was uh, pretty simple. Enjoyed some beaches, mate. Absolutely epic uh, part of the country. Um, and my uncle, um, uh, yeah. He was, Awesome guy. I uh, was saying about uh, on Avis's pasty shop. It's literally at the bottom of the road where where they live. It smells amazing. Um, and I've got a cheese and onion one. Uh, let's give it a little bite and see what it's like. Time to pitch a tent again, um, and I'm in a place called Travornik. Uh, it's just south of um, Newquay, and the 
if it's only here for a night, we really wanted to go down to Nuki um, on a Saturday night. Yeah, just have a, a few beers and see some nightlife there. Go and check out the beach, so the sun's out, the weather seems to be pretty good. Um, so hopefully, yeah, get, get to go in the water for a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, ab absolutely awesome like location, Travornik, really easy to get to. Um, it's only a couple of miles outside of Nuki, right by the sea as well, um, obviously. Um, and yeah, amazing. Um, hopefully, this, the, the week just keeps keeps getting better. It's been been absolutely awesome to hang out with, with my family this week. Um, just don't see enough of each other uh, at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been really, really special so far. So uh, yeah, let's bring on Nuki. So sometimes I count myself as being a lucky person, <laughs> but I've really lucked out here again. Another beautiful place, golf course. It's got a couple of like football pitches, big one, little one. There's the sea. Tent. It's just down there somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. There she is. Absolutely amazing. Alright, off to Nuki for me. It's a sunny Sunday in Truro. I've uh, just already had my workout a couple of hours ago. Uh, went for a Sunday roast, a uh, pub called William IV. Well, yeah, pretty decent. Um, glorious day. Uh, and now I'm about to make my way down the pool. It's a nice spot for <laughs> my pitch in my tent. Just outside Swanage, and it is so quiet. It's called Navesville Rustic Camping. Beautiful. Right, so it turns out I'm only about I was only about ten minutes away from Swanage, um, so thought to come for a quick bite to eat. Um, the, uh, the journey down here though, the uh, A30 and A35, both epic roads uh, for like three and a half hours worth of driving, it was pretty cool. Another day, another beach. It's pretty nice. Stunning, look at that. Beautiful. Never imagined Swanage to look so pretty. Nice for you for dinner. Anytime fitness in pool is on the fifth floor above a travel lodge, right on the front. Have a cool view.